Guys, what's going on? It's Monday morning. We've got a nice move in the market so far from the 2779 area this morning at open all the way down here to the 2737. So right now I'm kind of just sitting back here and waiting and watch. I want to see the 21 EMA get a little bit closer to kind of signify that we are below that and uh, act as resistance. So that's what I'm kind of waiting for at this point. We do have some serious support in this area there at the 2736 area. Pretty much right around here, the SPY, the 274 right now. So I'm just kind of sitting back here waiting. I'm already up $500 on the day from last night trading. So no real rush here to jump in. But I'm going to see if we can push up to that 21 EMA from here, which right around this area, right around that uh, 2760, 2757 uh, area. So looking for a pop up to that area to get short if we can stay below the 21 EMA there. That's the game plan. We're just kind of sitting back waiting. I did not want to really short down here especially after seeing kind of how this is bouncing right off of that support area so no no rush to get short just yet looking for kind of a top area first some resistance to play in there before getting short here so i've got a couple options plays going on right now as well bought some puts on jp morgan here this morning bottom what i buy a dollar 34 they're currently at a dollar 90 and you can see here bought five puts there uh five contract for puts and looking to see if we can get jp morgan to get maybe down like the 98 today and then the spy right now in the money on those 276 puts and some of the other puts kind of uh bumping up a little bit here and also bought some TQQ puts here for May 1st. You can see it already got down here to the 98, 98, 95 area. So looking for more of a dip here and probably take some of that profit on those. What was it on Friday? It went from 93 up there to $104 with the overall market rallying, it's gapping down and then rallying back and then just getting hammered. So uh, that's why I was looking for it. I got really good price on those puts, those $95 puts that expire on Friday because we had this rally back here in the morning. That was my overall trade here. Also, I like Rite Aid as well. I'm looking at Rite Aid. I'm trying to get like some $15 calls for their earnings on Thursday, but um, it ended up their calls for those 50, those $15 calls that expire on Friday, they went up like 100% already this morning. Already ended up taking profit on one of those 276 puts just to lock it in. I got one left here. So looking to play into this volatility today and see if we can't get more of a move in these JP Morgan puts. JP Morgan puts. What did I, I guess that I paid a uh, dollar 30, they're currently trading at $2. Market back down in that support area. Let's see if we can break through there. Some serious kind of support in this area, so not getting my hopes up just yet. You can see basically all night long kind of bouncing, bouncing, bouncing off that area. Kind of just lose that support and get down here to the $2700 area today. $2700 will be my target for the spy if we can break down below there. Where that 21 EMA ended up at right there that candle on that 15 minute candle that bounced back from that support pushed right up there almost touching that 21 ema there and that's what i was looking for I was just looking for a little bit more of a push up but did not get that push so just kind of sitting flat still like i said earlier a 500 dollars on the day. go boys let's go right now jp morgan looking for this to get let's get down let's just get down here you know let's let's just get down here down 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 we go currently we are up 903 dollars so far today 900 so we got jp morgan flirting with this 99 point uh so we got jp morgan flirting with this area down here looking for us to get down to the 98s again I think we got it. We got it here. We're making these higher lows, higher lows here on this bounce back and looking for a breakdown from this 99 support area. I think we can get below this 99 support. We should get down there into the 98s pretty quickly here. So that's what I'm watching with these contracts right now. Sitting PL open is uh, $392 currently. Looking to just need futures to fall through here. Let's fall through this, this uh, 2720 area, get down here to the 2700s. I think that would put us beautiful overall with the overall puts and everything so looking for 2700 area here to get touched let's go let's do it right here right now right go right let's go really not much support below this 2717 so that's why i'm thinking 27 all right so jp morgan moving down there to the 9880 gonna look for to cover or take i guess take some profit up right now 435 dollars so 
looking to sell these three puts here at not going to be stubborn going to take some profit along the way here to lock it down up 970 dollars currently with this open position so looking to see if we can get filled here 217 on the bid for that contract 216 looking for 220 got an order out there for three contracts at 220 on the on the order book right now let's see if it'll pop up there and give me it there we go getting one filled one contract filled there all right all right so now you can see my spy puts as well i've only got one of those 276 puts left here it's up 220 dollars and the other puts right now kind of riding this so we're gonna let this one ride a little bit longer see if the spy can get down there to the 2700 hundred dollar area in a little bit taking profit as we go here up 500 dollars. i haven't i've not made any futures trades just yet been kind of focused on the options right now to see uh, what happens from here so don't really need to add too much risk onto myself uh, you can see futures kind of bouncing around this 2717 area looking for that fall here 2700s let's go let's let's go let's go let's go let's 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 go let's go all right so futures continuing lower now down there to the 2712 area like i said i'm looking for that 2700 dollar area here for the spy for the futures whatever you want to call it $2,700, that's what we're looking for. That's the goal. That's the plan. We're going to be holding tight till we get there, baby. Winners quit, or, or winners win, and quitters quit. And we ain't doing none of that. Well, we win it today. Look at this. This is what's amazing. I want. This is what's amazing. Let me show you guys this. Check this out. All right, so my JP Morgan puts currently have moved 85%. I bought them this morning. Look at this. I bought them this morning when the price was $1.30. So now it's up over 100%. No, it's up almost 100%. We're up over 85%. But if you look at this, look at the market. JP Morgan today has only moved 4.62%. So now you can see the power, the power of options. Would you, can you see that? My head was in the way. There you go. JP Morgan down there to almost $98 now. Beautiful for spacious skies and amber waves of green america you gotta love it so let's keep this party going like i said i'm looking for that 2700 hundred dollar area there on the spy all right so futures are catching a bounce here off the uh, 2710 area which was that previous support there from what was that friday yeah from friday it was the the low there about 8 30 in the morning Getting a little bit of a bounce here. I'm looking. I'm gonna look for a push back up here to the 27.30 area, up into here, for a short opportunity, and we'll see if we can get up there to that 27.30 30 area, which was that previous support. We want to see that previous support turn into resistance, and also on the 15-minute chart, that's pretty much right where the 21 EMA is at. So. Let's see if we can get a push back up there to that 27.30 area for a short opportunity and then look to touch down at a 2700 later on today. So you can see kind of the next support there on the chart pretty much uh, right down here. So, all right, so I'm getting short here at the 27.32 area uh, looking for resistance to start to kick in here. A little bit higher than this, probably like right around 27.36 here for this move. So let's see what comes of this action you can see just the big bounce back from that 2711 area earlier that we are looking at it rallied up there 2732 currently so looking to see if we can get a nice little pull back here at least give me a little pull back here see if i can lock in a little profit here 2790 uh 27 29 50. it's always the worst when it gets like right to your buy and you're like flirting. The line is like touching the line. It's right there. 27, uh, 27, 29, 29, 50 right there. Just flirting. Like, look at this. Literally just flirting with my order. Come on. Right there. Just flirting. Just flirting with my cover. Okay. Getting one contract filled there. At least to get down here to the 27, 27 area. Down there to the, at least the 27 area here on this move. Looking for 27s here. 28.75 on the bid right now. Let's go. Let's go 27s. Let's go 27s. Let's go 27s here. 27.50. Try to get a fill there. Getting one filled there. Beautiful. 
locking it down as we go here just nice and easy don't need to do anything too crazy today already in the green across the board here let's even get 26 is here a little over 26 fill there getting 20 uh, yep getting filled there so we got two contracts currently left here looking for 25s on this 25s 25 is coming up here 20, 25 50 see if we get filled there at 25 50 on this move losing that support on the bottom of that candle right there should get that 25 move here just put my stop basically right there pretty easy from here so i'm just going to put my stop right there at a little bit below break even or yeah a little bit below break even just so if it does pop back up i'll get out and look for another short opportunity if we get stuck at this area again but i will look to take a little bit of profit here Maybe one more contract if I can lock it down in the 25s. The low of this candle so far is currently uh, 27, 2550. If we get down maybe 24s, look for 24s on this drop here. A little bit lower below that 25. I think we can, this candle is getting ready to close in about a minute. A little volatility going into the close of this candle. Might get stopped out here, but still locked in, locking in that profit on the way down. No, no big deal. If we get stopped out, we get stopped out. It's kind of how it goes. See where this candle closes. Got 25 seconds here, 23 seconds to see where this candle closes at. Trying to pop back above 7:30 here. All right, four, three, two, one. Candle is closing right now, below 7:30 now. So let's see if this candle can dip down there to the 7:24s. Still haven't touched that 21 EMA just enough. I think we might get a little bounce kind of back up here to the 7:40 area just to get a little test of this previous support there 740 so and two contracts left getting stopped out right there at 32 so still locking in up another uh what were we we are at 500 before now we're up another 80 dollars so it was looking a little bit a little bit more of a downside there but like i said still haven't really touched that 21 ema just yet we got a little bit more room to go here so we might get a push up here uh kind of into this area We'll say like right here. So, all right. So the market's pushing back up here to the uh, 740 area now, or 737 area right now. So looking to see if we can push up here to the 740s and see what happens at that point. We are right there at the 21 EMA. The 21 EMA right now is basically right where the market's at right now. So I'm looking to see where this 15 minute candle closes. If we close below the 15 EMA there, then I'll look to get short. Uh, just kind of looking to see I don't want my overall bias if I'm you know I'm like oh I'm I'm, uh, I'm thinking the market's gonna crash I know I don't want to let that play into my kind of overall psyche here just because I believe the market's gonna crash does not mean that's going to happen especially when you're trading futures so you know if I'm just a perma bear and I think the market's gonna crash and I do something stupid and I short here and it ends up rallying you know and I keep holding it hoping and praying and thinking oh you know the market's gonna crash then that doesn't really work out well for me. So that's what's going on right there. Uh, also, looks like JP Morgan kind of bouncing back here a little bit as well after touching down there to the $98 area. Zoom in a little bit more for you guys. Get my, you can see here, bouncing back up there, almost, uh, what, nine, right, pretty much at this resistance area here, 99.41 here on JP Morgan. Contracts left, so either way, I'm going to hold those into the earnings tomorrow. They have earnings coming out tomorrow on JP Morgan. I already locked down um, three contracts there. So locking down that profit on those. All right, so this candle that I was talking about, the 15-minute candle, ended up closing right there at the 15 EMA. So that's giving me a little bit of hope here. And I'm just going to see where this next candle ends up, what happens at this area, you know, if we end up getting stuck right below that EMA there. Can you guys see that? The blue line, you probably can't see it, but there's a blue line basically right here at this 33.50. 33.50 there on the 15 minute chart. And we're looking to see if this is going to hold it down and start to trend back down now that we've touched to the 21 EMA there. A little bit of flippy floppy, a little flippy floppy right there. So let's see what happens. All right, so right now the market's rallying back here, looking like we're gonna push up some there uh, right now 740 area having a little bit of trouble there uh, not really in love with it just yet maybe look for a 745 this let this candle get really just stupid and overextend at that point looking for like maybe up into the 750s right now 
having a little bit of trouble there. We are right at that area of resistance and support. So looking to see kind of what happens from here. Look at that push there on that five minute. Went from 731 up there to 741, just like that. Just snapped up there. That's what I was talking about earlier. Don't want to get stuck in some stupid green boner candle. No boner candles for me, my friends. I stay away from the boner candles. I'm looking for for boner red candles on the way down, not on the way up. Stupid big green boner candles. So uh, pretty clear that we might trend up a little bit here. So I'm just going to give it some time. All right, so I'm still holding my JP Morgan. I got two puts there and got one put, the 276 puts, which expire on the 15th. I've got those. And I ended up closing these 228 puts that were expiring on 29th of April. I thought maybe those were just a little too far out of the money there. So ended up close, closing those for $115 profit. And now we're just kind of waiting to see where we end up. These TQQ puts aren't really any big deal. I think I paid like $200 for these puts. So it's kind of like a, you know, I don't want to say a gamble, but kind of definitely just putting them out there. I only have two of those. So nothing really big deal there with those. But these weeklies, this uh, May 4th, 242 put, and these 243, 29th of April puts are all looking good so far. So uh, right now kind of bouncing around, but market a little bit of a rally back up here. Uh, you can see pushing up there, I was saying earlier, might push up here to the 2750 area one more time, see if we can kind of top out there. But right now, really just some overall volatility, like I said earlier, expecting you know a bounce back from that previous support area down there at the uh, 2710 area. Nice little almost, what, 30, 40 handle bounce back there. So I'm just kind of playing playing it safe here, not doing anything too crazy. And it's noon, so I've got my Chipotle on the way. And I'm probably going to just sit back and let those puts see what happens tomorrow. My game plan is tomorrow. The idea is that JP Morgan is going to report bad earnings. And it's going to take the whole market down with it into some weakness that we're experiencing today. So... That's my game plan. That's what I'm doing right now. Everybody thought that I was going to lose all my money on Friday, but ended up making some money today. Up over $1,000 across the table right now with realized profits locking in $581 here trading futures and then over $500 trading uh, and then over $500 and then locking in $500 uh, pretty much across the board. So not bad, not bad. Here we go. Let's see what happens. But in general, just kind of playing it safe, looking to see what happens from here. I'm just kind of playing it safe until we figure out what the direction is. I don't really want to play into this like just straight up V right now. So that's what we're looking for. We're looking to see if that 2750 area can hold it down and start to send it back down from here. So we're getting like overextended again as well, getting overextended away from that 21 day, that 21 EMA. So expecting a pullback here at some point. Just don't want to get stuck in that stupid big green candle. It may if we push up here, I'll look. But in general, just gonna play it safe, eat some lunch, and uh, see what happens. Hopefully tomorrow, J.P. Morgan reports some bad earnings. Their stock right now, kind of bouncing back up there from that low of 98, back up there towards the hundreds right now. So we'll look to see if J.P. Morgan can sell off tomorrow. Here, that's my uh, kind of overall game plan. You can see. Big old bounce back from the other day from 93 up there to 104 on Friday. And uh, looking looking to get back down to that 90 area one more time here after earnings tomorrow. So there it is. That's the plan. That's what I got going on. Talk to you guys tomorrow morning.